You guys ready to have a good time? Edmonton Mayor Amarjeet Sohi is in the house tonight. Give it up for him. Now, as a Torontonian myself, how do I put this? Um, we, we have a bit of a thing when it comes to mayors. And let me just say how refreshing it is to see a mayor not do crack in an underpass or engage in a very uncomfortable sex scandal. Uh, Toronto should take note, I think. <laughs> Now, we are live from Rogers Place, home of the Oilers, led by Edmonton's other mayor, Connor McDavid. That's right. Now, Connor's having one of the best single season performances since Wayne Gretzky. Incredible. Connor, you, you are the LeBron of hockey right now. Just, just do me a favor, okay? Promise me you will not take your talents to South Beach. Don't do it. Don't do it to these wonderful Edmontonians. We love you. Stay here forever. Isn't that right, Edmonton? Heck yeah. Now, when the producers asked me to come back, uh, I did what any responsible adult would do and left the writing until the last possible second. Uh, but, but that's okay, because we actually uh, live in the age of artificial intelligence. Now, AI can write entire essays for school now. Just ask your kids. Everyone's doing it. So I figure it can write me a monologue for the Junos. Uh, so tonight, we are here for the world's first awards show, Monologue, powered by AI. So let's just bring it up real quick. Um, and we're going to ask, got any ideas for a host monologue for the Juno Awards? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, put it on the prompter real quick. Um, <clears throat> good evening, Canada, and welcome to the 2023 Juno Awards, huh? Huh? Uh, tonight we honor the best in Canadian music. Okay, we spell honor with a U, but that's fine. Um, I am here to play but a small part and move us through the evening. Okay, I feel like small is a bit of an undersell. But anyway. Um, we have a lot to celebrate tonight, from the newcomers making their mark on the scene to legends in the audience, such as Prime Minister John A. McDonald, Poutine, Lake Superior, and the CN Tower? Uh, okay, most of those are not even people. Um, I guess they're still figuring the technology out. See, that's why I'm on stage and uh, AI is not. Okay, well, thank you. Yes, our jobs are safe, you guys. Uh, well, moving on, a lot has happened since the last time I took the Juno stage. Um, well, to start things off, I'm going to be in the freaking Barbie movie, you guys. Yes, yes, I am playing Barbie. That's how much I'm breaking barriers. No, you guys, no, I'm just kidding. They did such a good job keeping the story under wraps, I don't even know what character I played. Okay, all I know is that this image of me made the trailer. Let's take a look. Pretty snazzy, right? It uh, reminds me of a similar photo I took once about 10 years ago, which I was paid much less for. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> much less snazzy. Ah, it's so nostalgic, I kind of want to sing a song about it. Do we have a guitarist in the, in the front, by the way? Ryan P. from Nickelback? Oh, I'll take that. Gosh, so the year was 2013. I needed some cash really badly, and uh, keep in mind this was before the age of OnlyFans and feet pics, so had to do some stock photos, you know what I mean? I've used a few of them. Gosh, I, I remember that photo shoot like it was yesterday. Ryan, you ready? ready? Let's do it. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me sad. Everybody makes fun of them. Why the hell did I say yes to that? My lawyers tried to take them down. That's not how the internet works. I don't think they'll ever fade. Worst hundred dollars that I ever made. Whoa, whoa, oh God, I, I, Every time I see my face in the stock photos, it's a reminder that they will never go. I hate myself, I hate myself. These damn photos, damn photos. Ryan Peek from Nickelback, everybody. Thanks so much, buddy.